Okay, here's a piezoelectric transducer at the end of the balance. Here's a laser beam and pivot mechanism. I'm going to look at it. Okay, here's my experiment to test the propulsion of the piezoelectric unit. Uh, here is the um, piezoelectric transducer. I have the laser mounted on top up here. So I can look at the, uh, as the uh, thing cantilevers. As it tilts back and forth, I can watch it. Um, and uh, I guess that's it for that. Today is what, uh, April 13th. And uh, basically, here's my power unit down here. The frequency is uh, 112 kilohertz. Each of these piezoelectric units have many resonances, and it, um, it appears that each one has a high Q on it on different resonances. This one happens to have a high Q on this one in particular. I tuned it to a, a strong resonance before I stuck it up on the balance. And uh, this one seems to be behaving pretty well at about 30 volts. Okay, I have uh, my ultrasonic transducer on my balance. And you can see the laser beam pointed at the black tape down there. I have a ruler off to the side so you can see how many inches up and down it's, it's moving. It's about, uh, probably about 12 feet away from the apparatus. And uh, it's pretty much stationary. Now I'm going to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, on, off. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Now this is at 30 volts, and I'll just let it oscillate for a while. You can see that it tends to oscillate pretty well. And, uh, now I'll stop it from oscillating by running it out of phase. Off. Turn it on. Off. 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 And now I've brought it back to rest by uh, by applying force exactly out of phase to the, the original oscillation. This is definite proof that uh, you can use the ultrasonic uh, transducers as uh, propulsion uh, systems or propulsion engines. Okay. Now we'll try, uh, instead of at 30 volts, we'll double the voltage at 60. If I go much higher than that, I'll smoke the uh, transducer. Okay, so we're basically at a rest state right now. I'll turn it on. And that's a steady state right there. Just steady state on. You can definitely see that the, uh, the spot moved. It's oscillating above a much higher equilibrium than it was before. I'll let it die down for a little bit. Okay. Now I'll turn it off. Okay, the transducer got kind of warm after that that continuous on there. Okay, we'll stop it from oscillating. 
Okay, for my second set of experiments, I've uh, now mounted the uh, piezoelectric transducer on the top of the balance to see if the force is applied in the opposite direction. Now, actually, since I've been running it, the, uh, the resonance has changed a little bit. Now it's uh, about 128 kilohertz. <clears throat> Okay, now the piezoelectric transducer is mounted on the top of the balance. So, what I predict is that the um, when I turn it on, it should apply a force downward. We should try to force the spot down. Right now, the spot's at equilibrium. I'm going to turn her on. Off. On. Off. On. Off. On. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. So definitely it's producing a force, a repulsive force that, that tends to push the scales down. Further proof that the, uh, the piezoelectric transistors, or actually sound, can be used to uh, propel a vehicle through air. So in conclusion, the, uh, the repulsive resonance of the uh, pillbox cavity can actually be used as a propulsion de mechanism to propel ships through uh, air and uh, it's a further confirmation that of uh, what Keeley actually said was probably true because Keeley was uh, reported to have built a ship using uh, several different pillbox resonators that uh, flew very rapidly through the air.